Hey, what's up? This is Rad Rockin, and I'm going to talk to you a little bit about Black Ops Elite Special Forces Airsoft Team, which I am uh, the proud captain of, and uh, I get a lot of questions on YouTube. Uh, thanks for all the questions, by the way, and the support that we receive. Uh, some of the questions that I receive are as simple as, Hey, Rad, what's the difference between MILSIM and Combat Sim, and where does your organization fall within those two? And what I would have to say is that we're a little bit of both, but we are more heavily on the combat simulated environment. So let me just touch on the MILSIM aspect of what Airsoft and MILSIM are for us. MILSIM is the rank structure, the uniformity, uh, the untimeliness. That's all the MILSIM structure, military simulated structure that we have uh, indoctrinated all of our team uh, to utilize. So with that said, that's as far MILSIM as we get. So back to combat sim, which is what we're all about. Combat simulated war games. So we want to try to give you, our guest, whether you're on a team or you're a lone operator, the opportunity to, to have a taste of what it's like to be under fire and to have combat stress induced on you. So what we do is we welcome all walks of life, teams, uh, lone wolf shooters, you know, people that just want to have a good time, you're more than welcome to come out and fight with us. All we ask is that you come out in a uniform with boots on your feet because we don't want you to bust your ankles and you have water on your person because in all honesty, we're out in the middle of the desert pretty much all day and night long fighting. So for the safety element, we, we have the RIS, which is respect, integrity, and safety at all times. Yeah, we've had some people get hurt here and there, but you know what, when you're running out in the middle of the desert, and you don't look where you're going, you're bound to get hurt here and there. It's just how it is. So combat simulated war games allow me, my fellow like-minded teammates, to have just a fraction of a taste of what it's like to be in some type of combat situation. Uh, whether we've been in combat or not, uh, we just want to give that taste to our team and our community so that they have the understanding of what our soldiers and airmen and Marines and uh, Coast Guardsmen and, and all of them have to go through on a daily basis when they're deployed into a situation. Uh, we respect that 100% at uh, BOE, which is why the U.S. Army backs us up with what we do. And we want to give them a shout out, so a big hoo to the U.S. Army for all their support uh, with Black Ops Elite and our organization. Um, you know, there's been a lot of misconceptions out there about what we're all about and I just want to set the record straight that we're all about having a good time in a war game kicked back simulated type way. You know, we're not going to let it just be so lax that you can just roll out in jeans and, and sneakers and no water and you know, you're just like ready to go, but that's not what we're about. So, you know, please, if you're going to attend our operations, have the respect that we have for you and come out in a uniform with boots, with water on your person, and just integrity, straight up, because it's what we owe the sport. If you don't call your hits, then you're cheating yourself and you're cheating the sport, which is what we owe the sport. You know, we owe it integrity. So when we go out into fight, and we have teams from all walks of life come out with us, and they have, you know, skill levels from zero to combat Navy SEAL veterans who come out, we want them to all have the same level playing field of having a good time. And that's what we provide. That's why we have such a core community of fighters, and we'd love to have you come out with us and fight. But it's up to you to make that decision. You have the opportunity to contact us at blackopselite.com. You have the opportunity to get involved in our community and feel secure in knowing that you're going to be welcomed out. The respect I have for you right now is 110% full, as long as you bring that respect out to every single other player at our operations. That's all we ask. Respect, integrity, and safety in all you do at our operations. We created our rules of engagement, also known as the ROE, uh, to give us a combat simulated challenge. So you'll notice there's a lot of guns behind my wall here. And like the MP5, it should do what an MP5 does which is clear buildings and get in close and take those engagements on. So therefore, it has a 20 foot minimum engagement distance on full auto at 320 feet per second or less. And it has a five uh, foot minimum engagement on semi only. And that's for something that's called an SMG, so machine gun. So then you go up to like, say the AK-47 right here. 
So this AK-47 can shoot anywhere from 320 feet per second to 450 feet per second, and you'll have a 50-foot minimum engagement. You can't breach that. So if you have a 50-foot minimum engagement, and you're sitting here, and you're going to engage the threat downrange, but yet he breaches you, you have to go to a secondary. Or you have to fall back and, and figure out another position to get tactical on that guy. So with that said, we have guns that range all the way up to, you know, uh, 742 feet per second for a bolt action sniper rifle. It has a 150 foot minimum engagement distance. If it's breached, you're not allowed to come back to our operations. It's that simple. We take safety that serious. The other gun that would be uh, out there is a main battle rifle, and you've probably seen Ajax shoot me on our other YouTube videos from like God knows where. It was like 415 feet out, and he hit me in the dead of winter. And that gun right there shoots about 545 to 630 feet per second, give or take the hop up. That has a 100 foot minimum engagement. What I'm getting at is that all of our uh, classifications for our guns have rules that have to be abided by. It creates force on force, combat simulated fighting. It's simple. We set up waypoints in the desert, we have grids, we're all about objectives, we're all about fast, fun, paced, speedball style games as well. So if you think that you have what it takes to come out and fight with me and cover my six or any of my guys or anybody else out there that's out there with you, then why don't you give us a, a shout out at blackopselite.com or hell, you can even just post up on YouTube right here and just say, hey, you know, this is what I hear about you. This is what I want to know. Ask us questions. We're totally open to, uh, to answering anything. So hit us up. All I got to say is uh, thanks to all my guys that serve in... Uh, in all of the different branches. Uh, you know, we got Rec Shop and Solid and Padrone, Razor, uh, Glycerin, Stravos, Moss, Young, all you guys, we respect the shit out of you for what you do uh, day in and day out. And we can't wait for you to come back and uh, get back in your multicam gear and fight with us, uh, you know, in the desert. So, you know, this is for all, this is just, give us a call. What's up? Out.